How to make DIY slippers out of fleece fabric. Add pom-poms or tassels for a special touch. These slippers are fast to make and they only have one seam. They would be perfect if you have to make a lot of gifts at one time. Please like this video and follow my channel. The first thing you need to do is measure your foot. So measure from toe to heel and then add two inches and then measure from your heel up around the top of your foot to your heel and that measurement you will only add half an inch um, for seam allowance so you need to add a total of one inch and then you use that measurement to cut out a square and so your from your heel to your toe plus two inches will be the side of the square and then from heel up to the top of your foot down to um, the other side of your heel that goes from corner to corner and you want that measurement to go on the stretchiest part of the fleece so you're going to cut your square out on the bias so that the stretchy part is from corner to corner instead of um, just along one side and I measured my children's feet and they I did the same with them where I measured from toe to heel and add two inches and then around the top of the foot and I added one inch and I cut out squares for them and I found that those measurements pretty much always made a perfect square and I rarely had um, the diagonal almost always was the exact measurement once I cut out the square. Next we are going to pin our slippers together so make sure that the stretchy part one corner to corner will not be as stretchy so find the corner that is the most stretchy and match up those two corners pin them or click clip them whatever um, your preference is and I you so you pin those corner to corner and then you pin across the bottom of the slipper all the way and make that um, f the corner fold and then you're going to find the halfway mark of the back of the slipper and that is how far up you're going to sew you are going to sew from the halfway mark down and then sew into a curve and then straight across the bottom and then two inches from the end you curve up to the top of the slipper Now you're going to sew your slipper together. So start at the back of the slipper at halfway point and do a back stitch and then curve around the corner, come across the bottom, and then two inches from the end, curve up and finish up at the fold. Make sure you are using a jersey needle and a stretch stitch. Luckily, fleece does not stretch that much on these corners and so you don't have to worry about using a zigzag and it's okay if you do very large curves on the back corner and the front corner because um, it will not make your slipper any shorter it will just make it a little bit more comfortable on your foot and it will curve nicely around your toes and your heel next you're going to trim the excess off so I trimmed around the corner on the back and around the toe corner on the front make sure you do that to both um, slippers you want um, both slippers to be the same you want to remove that bulk so it doesn't hurt your toes or your heel and I found as I was wearing the slippers that often that seam since it's done with a straight stitch it would um, be pressed open as I wear it and it would make it a little more comfortable I did find since it's fleece that I didn't really feel the seam it was still pretty comfortable and soft and it didn't bother me or my children to wear it with a seam right on the bottom of the foot then turn your slipper right side out and fold down the top corner to make the cute slipper if you find that the slipper does not stay on your foot very well you can add a small piece of elastic just under 
the fold at the ankle. Just make sure you sew it in so that it stays tight around your ankle. I found that for my slippers, they stayed on pretty well. My youngest child, she wasn't very good at keeping her slippers on and my other children were pretty much okay. This last part is optional, but I think it adds a really nice personal touch to the slippers. Um, add a little decoration on the point of the fold that is on the top of the slipper. So for some, I added felt balls, I added pom-poms, I added tassels, I also added um, giant fur pom-poms. Um, you can choose whatever that you love or whoever you're making it for, something that they love and will make them um, feel special and loved. If you have a young child that might struggle with the fold, like figuring out the fold of the slipper, then while you are sewing on the detail, you can actually sew the flap down to the top of the slipper and then it's a little easier to see how it's shaped and how to put it on. I found that my toddler found it was a little tricky and she thought that the fold was supposed to stick straight up on her leg instead of having it fold down and it would flop down and bother her. So I sewed her flap onto the top of the slipper to make it stay in place and it worked out really well. Put your slippers on and enjoy cozy warm feet all winter long. These are great gift ideas. If you make some please share them with me on social media and I can't wait to see the slippers that you make. Thanks for watching my video.